All right, I'm just sitting here bored. Uh, for some reason, I'm still watching Twins game that as the moment I'm hitting record, they're down nine to one. I think they're going to the eighth now. Another just terrible fucking game by a team that is just not good. And it's it's. Like, this isn't a rant. Like, I've done a lot of, you know, basically every Twins video has been, like, after some heartbreaking loss, and it's been a rant, and I've been pissed, and I've been just calling for firings, and, I mean, I still love, I would still support <laughs> firings. Um, but, you know, we're, get, we're getting our asses beat 9-1 at home by the White Sox. Cleveland won, so they're, they're, they gain a game on us. Um, this is going to make, you know, barring the, uh, barring an amazing comeback, this will make the Twins 22 and 26 since May 25th. And I've kept, I've, I've kind of just kept chronicling this recently and because it's like, that was, that was their high watermark. They were 27 and 16. They were looking, you know, you know, they were looking like, you know, far and away the best team in the division. And maybe even a real contender. Um, and since then, you know, they're they're solidly under 500. And again, not playing the best teams. I think this is, I think this would now be our, I think in that period, since uh, May 25th, I think this would be our 14th loss to a sub 500 team because we played a pretty fucking easy schedule for that. You know, what are we up to now? About seven weeks. Um. And then also lost a bunch of games to Cleveland, who would be under 500 if it was basically if it wasn't for Emilio Pagan. Um, this team is just this team is just teetering. They're just not any good. And the one thing that they have kind of that's kind of kept them from from really plummeting, you know, so far this season, has been their starting rotation. That's going that's going away. They're they're falling apart there. Sonny Gray, pitch night, second straight awful start, melts down. I think I, I think it was the fourth inning in the last game against Texas. He got he fell apart. Might have been the fifth. Tonight it was the fourth. He melts down. He gives up a fucking grand slam. And he's your he's your number one starter. He he's he's your number one starter if you're in a playoff series. You don't have a fucking chance. You know, Joe Ryan was okay the the other day. He had he had a decent start, but he's he's, you know, he's he's still technically a rookie. Um, Smelter's been getting bombed the last couple times. Josh Winder got lit up pretty good his last start, and he got sent back. You know, Archer hit the hit the uh, injured list, and you know, it doesn't matter if he pitches good because he's never allowed to go more than four innings by by Doc Rock. The starting rotation is bad. Bullpen is bad. You know, Duffy's improved a little bit, but I mean, we, he had nowhere to go but up. Um, and the offense, I mean, this has been just this particular game absolutely inferior. The, every every bad th bad thing that this this lineup does, they did it again. First inning, they get the bases loaded, two out, but still bases loaded. You don't score. Second inning, they get a run on a double, but then they have first and third. After the double, you know, they get to first and third with nobody out. They don't get any more runs. They get make us. They get a, they get thrown out on the bases. They get thrown out on home plate. You know, and then the third inning, they get a leadoff triple from Buxton. They leave him there because we can't. This team is horrible. This lineup is horrible at scoring runs if the ball isn't going over the fence. Even the last game before this, uh, the last game, the second game against Milwaukee, they left like 13 guys on base. And then, you know, fortunately, they actually got a pretty good start and Miranda hit a walk-off uh, home run to win it. But, you know, and of course, on top of the horrible start, you know, with the, with the lineup screwing up with the, 
you know, not not getting these runs in. I mean, it's an absolute joke that they only had one run out of those first three. They should, you know, you know, a legitimate team has four or five at least, maybe more, because because you, you get hits and you keep and he's going. Um, and then of course since then, you know, I've been in and out of the game a little bit, but you know, they they've, they've just taken they as usual the lineup just takes the rest of the game off. They show this terrible at bats, quick at bats lifeless at bats it's just it's just every game you know, like twice a week they'll, they'll look like a, a good professional lineup and the rest of the games it's just crap and I'm sorry like this this on paper it's, it's on paper maybe I'm delusional I think this lineup has too much talent to just always be struggling in this way and you know I don't know what's going on with Buxton he got he you know he's had a pretty good game in this one but you know, I mean, he's barely batting over 200. And I think he deserved to be an all-star because he's, you know, hit a ton of home runs and he's, you know, a great center fielder. But I don't know what the fuck's going on, going on with him where he, he's just, he, he's become like Miguel Sano with, with fielding value. You know, I don't know what, I don't know what's happened there. I mean, I don't get it. I don't get, it's just, it, it, some ain't right. Some is just not right with this team. It's just I don't I don't see it getting better. I just don't. I, th I think this team is just you know like they already would be you know more or less screwed if they were playing in a real division, but they're not. I mean, Cleveland is now I think just one game above 500. I think the, I think the White Sox might be 500 now after after finishing this after they finish this game off here. It's a terrible division. It's and that's the only thing, kind of, for weeks now with the Twins. It's like, well, the division is terrible, so that'll that'll save us. Well, I, I maybe it will. I just, <laughs> you keep thinking that it won't, you know. And then it's like, well, you you win a couple games, and and these other bad teams lose a couple games, and boom, there you there you there's your little division cushion again. I think it'll be at three and a half after after this one's done. Like, <laughs> but there's just no optimism. I have no optimism whatsoever with this team anymore. And I don't think the trade deadline is going to bring anything. And I, and you know what? I wouldn't do anything with this team. I wouldn't add to this team. What is the fucking point of adding to this team? Maybe you win a crappy division and then go get destroyed in the playoffs. Like, you're not going to win a World Series. I'm sorry. There's a 0% chance that, that this Twins team is going to win a World Series. There's no chance that this team would, would have any chance of getting by uh, Houston and New York. This is never going to fucking happen. And I know they're not going to do it. They're not going to sell. Like, I would I would sell. I would... I, <laughs> I would look. I would just go big picture on the thing. You clearly don't have the pitching to 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 really do it to make a deep run. You know, you're counting. You're counting on. You know, Sonny Gray is your number one starter. Like I know he's 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 been okay, but he's he's not a number one starter on a team that's going to do anything in the playoffs. You know, and you're not going to go trade for anybody. You're not going to go trade for a top line starter now. And you're not, you know, we know you're not going to pay any for any, pay for any. And, you know, we don't have anybody coming. There's no, there's no, there's, there's no pitching pipeline. There's nothing. There's nothing coming. You know, five years into the Falvey and Levine era, there's, no, they, they, they were supposed, to, they were supposed to draft and develop pitching. They ain't doing it. It's not, it's not coming. We should have reinforcements, but we're not getting any. If it's talking about you know, you know training for relievers, why why bother? Why bother? This team isn't going anywhere. And I don't think. And I I you know when they were blowing all those games to Cleveland, I said they were they, they were completely done and they weren't going to make the playoffs. <laughs> if they make the playoffs, it's entirely because the division is terrible. It's not going to be on their own merit at all. 
I, I, I see no value in like adding to this team. Why, why would you add to this team? I mean, they didn't even add to the 2019 team. They went out and got Sergio Romo. Oh, look, that's exciting. You know, they're not. They're not going to. They're not going to do anything. And I don't. And frankly, I don't think they should. If I, if, you know, big picture, you should sell. Carlos Correa ain't coming back here. I don't give a fuck what he. I mean, I haven't heard anything recently about him. You know, no one's asking him about his contract and stuff. But like, there's not a chance in hell that Carlos Correa is gonna is gonna be here next year. So I would. I would. I would. You know, if you could. If you could trade him for something. Like, like some legitimate pitching, I would 100% trade him before, uh, it's not the end of July, I think it's like August 2nd, for some reason they moved the trade deadline to the first couple days of August, I'm not sure why they did that, but, um, you know, I, I would trade Korea, I would, because, you know, you don't need, you don't need him for a World Series run because you're not going to make a World Series run. Even with him, you're not going to make a World Series run. You're just not. You know, I would, I would, I would listen to offers on, you know, certainly any pending free agents. You know, there's there's certainly guys who are untouchable. I mean, obviously Buxton is untouchable. Arise is untouchable. Kirilov is untouchable. I sh I certainly wouldn't get rid of Miranda. You know, <laughs> if you could get anything. <laughs> For Miguel Sano, who's rehabbing his way back, I would I would do it. You know, Bundy, Archer. I, you know, I don't think any of the guys in the bullpen, you know, who are pending free agents would be of, of any value. You know, I don't know if someone would want Duffy. Probably not. But you know, I, Duran. Obviously, I would I would I would not uh, deal him either. Um, you know guys we got from the Yankees, Sanchez or Rochelle, if someone wants it, one of those, yeah, I mean, I would, I would, I would listen, I would listen to offers, and I, I, I say that, that would be me, there's no chance whatsoever that this front office is going to do that, they, I mean, they would never want to deal with that blowback from, from the fans, even if, yeah, it, it's probably the smarter move, because you're not, you're not going anywhere, this team is not good enough, I don't, I don't, I don't think they are good enough to win this division on their own merit. They might be good enough to back into a division title because the division is awful. But like the, the, it's just the, there's too many of these games. It's nine to one in the eighth. You know they haven't been blown out that much, but I mean, there's you know it's another game where it's just they get nothing from this lineup that should be much better than this. have a chance for the bullpen to blow it in this game because it's already blown and that starting rotation is is you want to say maybe you know Wes Johnson leaving in the middle of the season which I'm always going to wonder what what the true story is there um you know if maybe maybe he his his presence was really helping him out and Leaves and suddenly that suddenly they're imploding. I mean, it wasn't immediate. Like like the bullpen seemed actually to be a little better, you know, immediately after he left. But so it could just all be coincidence. But you know, they're just and again as I've said in many Twins videos, Tom Barocco, they just don't have good leadership. This is this there's no leadership on this team. They have, they, they, there's there's no way the veterans on this team respect Rocco Baldelli. They may like him as a person, but they, there's no way they respect him as, as, as a, like a leader of a team. Like even tonight, like he, you know, there was a play with the throw out at home. The, it was clear that the day that it was, you know, if you're going to challenge a play, challenge it. You know, that that's the one you challenge. It's it's scoring a run or not, and he just he decides, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. And then he challenged some bullshit later. I don't know. It's just, it's just not an enjoyable team because you can't you can't enjoy games when they're leading because you're just you're just waiting for the for the for the doom for the bullpen to come in and blow it and make you feel terrible, and then you have games like this where they are just terrible and 
lineup is terrible and that's no fun. It's just not it's just not a fun team. always do just they, they do just enough to not fully implode but they never play well enough to put some distance between themselves and Cleveland and Chicago and you know, they, they might have a three game lead in the division for the rest of the season <laughs> they might just kind of bounce around but it means nothing this team is going nowhere if they even if they back into the playoffs winning a terrible division they're going nowhere and I just I watch him and I'm just like, what are we, what are what are we doing? This is this is just a nothing team. And I don't I don't I don't know if this is like, you know, the best they can be, or if, or if this is just if this if this is a low point, but. I just I don't see much I don't I just don't see anything from this team that that indicates that they that that, that they're gonna do a thing even if they back even if they back into the playoffs. You know, for 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 humorous purposes, I would almost like them to win the division with a losing record, just to be just just for the comedic value. But and that might happen because. <laughs> Like they they got twenty two, about to be twenty two and twenty six, for basically seven weeks. You know, whatever. Um, you know, and that's and they and it has been against a pretty easy schedule. It hasn't been very tough. Yeah, there was a Yankee series in there, and they played Tampa in there at one point, and uh, you know they played Milwaukee, you know, this week and split with them. You know, there there have been some good teams in there, but most of them have not been good. This this has been a period where they, you know, if they were a really good team, they should have been cleaning up. Because I mean, the schedule the schedule's gonna get tougher. I mean, we, you know, you know, you still have a Yankee series. You still gotta play Boston again. You gotta play the Giants. You gotta play you gotta play some good teams still. And yeah, you got some. You still have a lot of like Detroit and Kansas City, but we've already blown a lot of those games, and. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't see this, see this team as being able to just take care of business. Like this should be, this should be the last series before the All Star break. You could, you could, you know, go out there and win three out of four. You know, put some distance between yourself and and Chicago, put some, and probably Cleveland as well. You know, go into the break feeling good, and now that, and see, and now they're not. They're, they're, They'll probably be lucky to get a split. It'll be just another series where they're just not, where they just, they look like mediocrity incarnate. And it's just, it's just not a, it's not a fun product to watch. Just as, just as a, just to know, just as a, as a, as a fan. It's just not. They're just not a fun team. I don't think there is a solution. Like I, I'm not saying I have the answers and solutions. I don't think there is a solution for this year. I think this is just what they are, and that's why I don't think they should. You know, you know, there's a lot, all this talk with the trade deadline. You know, a few weeks away, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do shit unless it's something that can help you, help you next year as well. Like trade for someone who you would have for next year. Although, frankly, I don't trust this fucking front office to to identify that guy. Presumably a pitcher, because they ain't they ain't done shit so far. You know they identified, hey, we want Emilio Pagan for Taylor Rogers, basically. Good call on that. So it's a frustrating team. But uh, and there you go, they left a couple more on base in the eighth. Lobsters for everybody. It's a lobster dinner. I don't know what they're up to for this game. Diverse, diver, they got to uh, diversify their diet a little bit. Enough lobster. Uh, yeah. He stinks.